Hi everyone. <laughs> Not sure I'm going to actually post this up for everybody to see, but I'm just doing a quick review for myself mostly of items that I purchased from Anime Central 2022. I have a whole goodie bag full of Anime Central stuff. Um, my whole family went with me, so it was myself, my husband, and my child. And so my husband picked out a few things. I think I picked out a few things for my kiddo and most of it is a lot of um, pins. I really got a lot of um, like little, what are they called? Like ceramic pins? I don't know. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to go through these things mostly so I can document it for myself and I can remember what I get year after year because sometimes I have to box this stuff up until I can find a proper place to display it and then I discover it like years later and I'm like, where did this even come from? So I'm just doing this kind of to remind myself what we picked up and um, you know, what we ended up doing with it. And Anime Central was already, I don't know, a couple of, maybe a month ago now. Um, anyway, I'm just going to flip through the things that I got. So, um, I picked up this poster. It's a pretty standard size. I think it's, uh, I don't know, 20, 24 by 16, 16 by 24, something like that. I think that's just the only one in there. Sometimes you get multiple prints from an artist, but yep, that's the only one for that one. Um, my husband chose this poster, The Mandalorian. And on the back side, I got a second print from that same artist, a Godzilla print. And I'm always happy whenever I come across um, Chobit's art. Chobits is already like 20 plus years old, so it's really hard to come by their art anymore. But just for the heck of it, because I am thankful to the artist who actually still finds Chobits to be a great inspiration. There's their card. I want to say it says 3 Lee Marie RTTN PNK.net. I think that was only one print from them, too. Let's see. Oh, no. Actually, there might be a second print in here. Oh, nope. That's just the cardstock. It's a nice heavy-duty cardstock. Um, I purchased this, um, which is kind of a vintage thing. It's a complete vocal collection of Card Captor Sakura. And yes, that was <laughs> the price tag. Um, I this into my, I took it into my car because I wanted to start listening to it. Um, how does this even open? I just wanted to see what's in here really quick to remind myself. But I don't actually think I've opened it yet. I took it out to my car, but then it was so hot during these last few weeks, the beginning of summer, that um, I thought I should bring it back in. I don't really think CDs warp like like vinyl does, um, but it's in this like kind of like plasticky case. You can see there's snap closures there. And I'm just gonna pop it open and see what's in here because I actually haven't even opened it yet. And I'm assuming that all the vocals are in Japanese, which is perfectly fine. I like listening to Japanese music as much as anybody else. So. Um, it looks like there's a case for the CDs and then maybe a booklet of the songs, which actually is kind of cool. Yeah, it looks like there's a whole list of songs there. Um, yeah, so it is in Japanese and there are the uh, song titles and the lyrics. And then there is art from the series as well, which is pretty cool. I do wish that I could read <laughs> Japanese um, so that I could <laughs> so that I could uh, follow along and le learn these words. But I suspect, um, as with music, so many times it, it's such a magical thing. If I listen to the Japanese vocals enough, I will probably be able to sing along with. Um, the songs, even if I don't know exactly what they're singing about. Because stuff set to a tempo, and 
having a musical beat is just easier to memorize. It's a magical thing for the Magical Girl series. Um, so it looks like there's a good number of songs on here. Let's see how many discs there are total. So four total, looks like. Whoopsie, there one goes. That was the Kiro one. Let's see if I can pop that back on there. There we go. Very nice. Pretty excited to listen to that, and it's kind of cool that it comes with the um, uh, lyric book too. And then it comes in this nice little case, which I'm sure is probably the original case that it came in. And I wouldn't really say case, I would just say more like plastic sleeve envelope, vinyl maybe, I guess. But I think that's pretty cool. So I like that. I don't even think I'm going to save this envelope and remind myself how much I spent on this. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's see. This was the goodie bag that you got for coming into um, the convention. And I don't think there's much in here that was actually a purchase, but let me just take it out and check because I don't really remember. Oh, I think I ended up throwing a bunch of... Um, like artist business cards in here. Um, sometimes, you know, it's almost overwhelming at anime conventions to uh, look at all the art stuff, but you see stuff that you kind of like, so you just pick up the cards to remind yourself and go look at their um, websites later. So I think that's that. this must have been my bag to just throw in all of my business cards. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this is from. If this was in all the bags, Pokemon Center. There's nothing in the bag. This must have been in the bag as something you got from the convention. Or maybe I got this from an artist. I don't know. Um, here's another cute bag because I want to see your face smile. <laughs> that must have been something else I purchased from somebody. Um, Win a trip to Japan. This is definitely something from Anime Central because even though it, had, it looks like a collectible card, it does have the Anime Central logo down there in the bottom. Here's a Tokyo Pop postcard. And then this was their guide um, for this year. I don't remember exactly what the theme was. I don't even know. Um, it looks like festival style because they have like the lanterns and the people in kimono and yukata. Um, it was it was a pretty good um, convention, I would say, overall. Although I didn't really get to do much. Mostly I was just walking around the vendor hall. Um, it was so hot in the vendor hall. This is one of the first things I bought. <laughs> it was one of the first fans that I saw, too. I don't even know if this is like a standard character, if this is just like something that they sell in Japan, but it's just one of those paddle fans. It was so hot the first day or so in there. Um, I ended up buying a couple more of these, and I don't know if I have the other ones in my bag, um, but one of them was a light-up one for my son. He really likes light-up things. And then um, the other one was just another anime character. So I think that frog one was I actually meant to give to my husband. Oh, here's the light-up one for, uh, for my son. And it's like has a little button here supposed to be like fireworks. I should actually let him take this out for 4th of July today. Um, but it has different settings that you can do to like make it light up and then you can just turn it off and use it as a fan. Very nice. Um, I got this little thing here. Desktop. Ar I don't even know what that says. Arisa series. I really, so the image here is of like an Alice in Wonderland kind of like robot girl. And on the back, you can see you got, you, it's like a blind box, so you don't know which one you're going to get. But I really hope I get the Alice one, because I think it's super cute. But the other ones are cute, too. The orange one has, like, bunny ears. And then the other one, um, she's, like, kind of pink. And I like pink. But she looks kind of like she has, like, flowers or something. I don't know. So any of these would be cute, but I'm hoping that I got the Alice one. I haven't even put it together yet. Um, let's see. 
this is what the um, badges looked like this year. There was, there's me, Barry Wings, um, and Sarah, of course. But yeah, and then this was for my son. He got the kids one. I think that's so adorable. I like that they have different um, uh, badges for the kids, but it'll make me sad when my son no longer needs a kids one because I think it's fun to get different, you know, style badges. Um, all right, so this is, it looks like kind of where my pin bag is. Here was another little Chobit art. Very cute. Um, this I think I actually um, went off of eBay, but it was around the time of Anime Central anyway, but it's a little clamp anniversary thing, and it's like a squishy um, gel kind of thing, but it's another chi thing. If you haven't noticed, I love Chobit, so it's for their 30th anniversary. There. I love chi. I love that art. They have other ones, two other characters in there. I think they're also adorable. Like, I kind of like the Clover one and the Magic Knight Warriors ones. They're so cute. Um, so I definitely was heavy into Digimon this year at Anime Central. Um, because Digimon is really making a comeback, they're having all kinds of new things released. Um, there's a lot. There was a lot of Digimon stuff, both in the dealers section of vending as well as the artist alley. So this was from the artist alley, and it's like a little puff pillow bag. And on the inside, you can see there's a Renamon and like a little Digimon uh, or Digivice shaker, and then like a little loaf of bread, and then like this star. Thing. It's just kind of cute. What else is in there? Oh, there's like little bits of glitter and also another little uh, crescent uh, roll like figure thing in there. So that's kind of cool. And it's double sided. Both all the little shakers in there are, are there's images on both sides. So that's a, just a cute little keychain. Um, oh, I did get some anime, which is nice. Um, Nekopara. I'm kind of excited to watch that because I have the Nendroids of the two main characters there, Chocola and Vanilla. So I've been wanting to watch that. And then teasing Master Takagi, Takagi Fan. I've seen so many clips of this anime that it just, it makes me laugh or smile every time I see one. So I really wanted to pick that up. Um, what else do we have here? These were... A couple of little Digimon um, figures, like little sleeping figures. There's Biomon and Gatomon or Tailmon. Um, I ordered these off of Yahoo Japan, but um, they probably came around the same time as Anime Central. These will probably go to my smart doll Mimi, because she's a big Digimon fan, just like me. Um, I did also order this from Yahoo Japan. I think I shared a picture of this up to um, one of my Digimon groups, but it's Fairymon, Kazemon. Digimon character. Here's another <laughs> Chobit thing. I think this I actually did get from Anime Central. Back to my Anime Central stuff. So it's a really lovely picture of Chi. It's double-sided. And even though you can't really see it in here, um, there is little specks of glitter, so it's kind of pretty. And then the keychain itself is a little heart, so I think that's kind of cute. And to be honest, I think after I bought this and I was thinking about it, I might have this somewhere buried in my anime central goodies from a previous year. But that's okay, because then I can actually display one somewhere, and then I can um, keep one nice so it doesn't get all scratched up. Um, this is another little Digimon thing I got this year. It's a little Gyumon pin with his trainer Takato. It's super adorable. I love Gyumon. He's such a cute little dinosaur Digimon. Um, let's see what else. So this is kind of, I'm going to have to flash through all these little pins that I got. And then this actually kind of worries me because there's a loose pin bag. And I don't know where it would be from because the Guillaume on one had two and it's like still sealed. Um, 
I don't know. I'll have to probably put that in with my little pins. But this was another super cool um, Digivice keychain. If you're familiar with Digimon at all, it's the D3. And inside of it, there is all of the armor Digi eggs. So it's kind of like a shaker thing too. And it's just, it's just a fun little thing. It's kind of a big keychain, but um, I just think it's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. So, all right, let me go through and flip through all these pins as quickly as I can. Um, so here we have the dragon from Spirited Away. I don't remember that character's name. Ha Haku, like the Haku River, maybe? It's pretty cool. It's really big. And the back pins are minty green, like it's um, the hair or the fur on it. But as you can see, it's pretty big. Um, this this is all wrapped up, so I feel like I must have gotten several pins from this single seller. And they really had some fantastic pins. And actually, um, they gave me like a returning customer card, it looks like. This is called Geeky Endeavors. And they do have a Facebook and website, plus phone number. But it looks like I got a punch so that I can, if I make more purchases, I can get a coupon or something. Um, here, let me show it to you up close so you guys can see that. I They really had some fantastic, oh, enamel pins. That's what I was thinking of earlier. Um, so I got a bunch of pins from them. And I think they're at... Um, Enemy Central, they had like a deal, like if the more you bought, like you would get so much off or whatever um, of each pin. So like if you bought one, it was like 10 bucks. And then if you bought two, you could get them for like nine bucks or whatever and so on. So here is a really cute little like red and white fox. Pretty cute. Has nice big pin backs. They're heart shaped, which is nice. So it won't fall off, hopefully. Um, <laughs> I think this was just like, I was trying to figure out one to pick. Um... But I just think it's funny. It says, uh, it's like a tombstone. It says, clear my browser history. Um, here is a cute little um, ice cream cone with a narwhal scoop and an octopus scoop. And, ooh, this one's so pretty. Let me see which way it goes here now. Uh, this is like a fox under a sakura tree with a moon and it's sparkly and it's purple and it's just beautiful and then this is really my favorite pin that i got i'm so excited by this pin because it's kind of inspiring me um it actually is inspiring me to want to make a ball jointed doll of a stingray doll this is so beautiful. It has like a little swing for like the tail or like the stinger part maybe. Um, but look at that. Just look at that design. Can you not see a ball jointed doll on that? I can. I love it. I really want to make a ball jointed doll inspired by this pin. But as you can see there, um, even though it's like swinging um, there, like you could pin it down so that it doesn't go loose or whatever. I have um, a pin banner, but I also have one of those Ita bags or book bags or whatever you want to call them um, that has a bunch of pins on it, and I plan to organize that someday. So I don't know where this loose pin bag came from. Oh well. Um, but... I just, I just love pins. Enamel pins are so fun. They're a small, easy collectible, and um, I just really enjoy them. Alright, so then this is all the rest of my little goodies that all fits in this one Ziploc baggie. Um, I'm not a Pokemon fan, but I got this keychain. I don't even know which Pokemon this is. It doesn't say. If it does, I can't read it because it's in Japanese. But it's like covered in like those kind of like crystal beads or whatever. So it's super sparkly and I just like it. And it's kind of like a plush. It kind of is squishy. So it's just super cool. Um, what else did I get? Oh, this was a 
purchase actually for me. I got some uh, cat ears to wear, and they're just super easy to put on. They just have like little slip-on clips. I could probably put them on while I'm like talking. Oh, except that's backwards. <laughs> All right, let's try it this way. Let's see, there we go. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> I'll just leave them on for the video. <laughs> Uh, okay, so here's my favorite series, right? And this is one of my favorite Digimon. Little Gabamon, little plushy um, keychain. It comes with a little key ring. Um, it's super cute. It's so adorable. The eyes are like stitched, and then the his stripes are like kind of like those stickery feeling things. So I hope they don't peel off. Um, but I generally tend to keep good care of my little trinkets, so. They should be okay. Um, I did get a um, noodle bowl. It was totally ripped off. It was so expensive. Well, I mean, it wasn't super expensive. It was just expensive to what it really should be in real life. But if you bought a bowl from this vendor, you got to pick out a pair of chopsticks. So here's the chopsticks, and they're really pretty. They're just basic, but they have, like, these little clear um, Sakura Blossom-looking things on them. Um, the bowl, when I opened it up, had a huge crack all like around it and I, I felt like if I used it even once the crack would chip and then the bowl would fall apart so it's just been sitting on my counter I think I'm gonna make it into a planter because I don't think I can use it to eat out of which is really disappointing um what other things did I get here this is this so a lot of vendors had like the um like gumball machines, I call them gumball machines, I know that's not what they're called, oh, like the gacha machines, right, from Japan, where you get, like, a random item in there, and so, in one of these, I picked, I did, like, a, it's, like, figures of sushi in different uh, positions, so here's, like, a sushi board, right, and here my little sushi is sitting up and having a little drink of tea, and it does come with, like, a little uh, dot of wasabi to set there. <laughs> decoration it's just so cute just kind of funny I don't know what I would do with little figures like these um, other than just have them sit around and make me smile but I figure since I'm into taking photography of my dolls and stuff lately I probably should use those as decorations um, for like just in the in the pictures so here is another little Digimon thing this is a um, um, officially released item from Bandai, I do believe. It's Sophiemon, and it's a little acrylic, acrylic figure stand, so it can just stand right up wherever you place it, which is pretty cool. They are definitely coming out with a lot of these lately for all different um, series, so that's kind of fun. Here is a Ikari and Tailmon pin. I, um, when I shared this up with my Digimon group, I told them I thought it was a cookie in the packaging because the packaging made it look like a cookie. It felt like a cookie. I don't know why I'd buy a Digimon cookie, but <laughs> I really wanted a cookie. I did not get a cookie. I got a pin. Um, here's another um, pin, just like of a fox, and by a um, Tory Gate, I believe is what it's called. And this on the back it says Clover Puff, so that might be the uh, company that I purchased from. Um, I put things back in their packages, probably because I didn't, I decided I didn't end up wanting them. This is another Digimon acrylic figure. It's, um, an anniversary one. It ended up being a character that I don't necessarily want. I do think they're adorable, but, um, I don't, I'm not going to keep this one. I'll probably just sell it off to another Digimon fan. So that's why I probably had it rewrapped, so I'll put it back in the packaging for that. Um, here is another pin. Oh, this is not from Anime Central, but we did go to a Cubs game around Memorial Day, and I got, like, a military camouflage print Cubs game. Another pin for my collection. Um, this was a cool little thing. So this was another gotcha ball. It came, this was in here, you had to, um build this, which I'm sure it can come back apart, but I'm just going to leave it together here. 
this is actually really cool and I think it would be fun for various um, uh, toy photography. So this was a little lamp and it actually lights up. Watch this. It's so cool. See? Um, if you can see in there, it kind of looks like a koi pond. You can get different images from the different sides. Um, and then that little stand allows you to put it on a little stand and it hangs there. It's really cool for a little gotcha thing. Like, you don't see light up toys like this in uh, gumball machines in America. Um, this was a really cool little thing and there was a lot of different options. Well, there was a couple different um, lamps that you could get. This was a true gotcha. Like, I think my little sushi one, I could actually reach in and pick out the one I wanted. But on this one, it was definitely a gumball machine where you just got what you got. Um, so they had different colors. There was a cat, bunny, deer, the koi fish one that I got. Um, maybe like palm, like, not palm trees, um, bamboo trees with some kind of animal there. And then like butterflies maybe. I really wanted the bunny. It was red. And it just looked like it had a really cute image, but the koi fish one is actually pretty cool too. Here's what the bunny one looks like to get you a better image. Um, it's just, it's such a fun little toy and it definitely could be used for various um, bell photography or toy photography or whatever. Then I think other than a bunch of Digimon cards, which I'm not going to go through all of my Digimon cards because I really got a lot. I need to end up putting them into my card collection. This was the last thing I got. It's a pin. I put it back in here again because it's probably something I, I it wasn't the one that I wanted. This, of course, it's a mystery pull. Um, this is a 20th anniversary of Digimon Tamers, which is like the second or third season of the anime of Digimon. It's pretty cool. It's cute, but again, it's not my, it's not the character that I wanted, so I'm just going to pass it on to another, um, can and eventually sell it. Um, so I did get, I think I actually, did I make a video of all these cards? I don't know. I don't know what this is from. I probably held something nice, but I did get a whole bunch of like Digimon cards and individual cards. There was a lot of sellers there that had, um, just a bunch of different cards. Maybe I'll flip through them really quick just so I can remember which ones I bought. I think I did get some individual cards. Um, I think I kind of set these up so that there's some like rare ones on the inside, but I'll just flip through them. Um, so I did get individual packets um, or individual cards and then I got some specialty kits. I think these are like ones that I must have pulled out that were pretty, pretty decent. Um, <laughs> I can't even tell which way this card goes. Grand Kalagoman. Oh, it's a promo card. That's kind of cool. Um, Black or Greymon, another promo card. I know it's kind of dark in here, so you can't really see the image there. Um, this card looks really cool. Um, it's actually an, an altar card, which I think is pretty, like, collectible from the collectible cards. It's Omnimon Altar S, which is a cool card, but it's not my favorite character. And then I got Ophanimon, and this was probably one that I, I pulled as an individual card, maybe. Um, and here, I got a, a couple of these Machine German ones. Which they're, it's a very cool looking card, um, but I got a couple of them, so I only need one. So I'll probably end up reselling that. This pick was not that good, I think, or else I didn't really like any of the cards in there. Digimon Fusion, I don't know. Um, let's see if there's anything special in here that I like. Kendall Garurumon, pretty cool. Kind of looks like a wolf. Rosemon's a classic. Lopmon, super adorable. I don't know if I already went through these. Biumon, Angel Woman, she's like one of my favorites, and I definitely already have that card. Um, 
I don't know how best to resell Digimon cards. I once sold like my whole collection um, several years ago, well, probably over a decade ago, maybe even 20 years ago. I don't know. Um, and I did really well then because I sold my entire collection. But I knew from the way that people were inquiring about it that um, there was some cards that were really rare and special that people really wanted. So, um, I don't know how, right, with current, with cards that are currently out there and available, like common cards, people just, it's not anything special to them, so it's harder to sell common individual cards. It better, it's better to sell it as a lot, and I don't know. Not that this really matters from the Anime Central perspective, um, but that was everything that I got, I believe. I didn't even pick up any manga. And I was trying to look for a couple of series I, I asked at a couple of the company vendors or like the, um, you know, the ones that are actually businesses versus artists. And they didn't have the series that I was looking for because they're relatively new. So anyway, got a couple manga, got a ton of pins and a bunch of fun Digimon stuff because Digimon is just huge right now. So that's everything. Um, that is coming on half an hour so that was anime central 2022 all my goodies and um thanks for watching i know this is kind of like a darker video i just in a room and it's kind of like overcast today so anyway um if you got any good goodies at anime central or you love collecting anime pins or you're totally into digimon please feel free to comment like or whatever with this video I, again, I'm just kind of doing this for my own memory so I can remember what I got this year. Thanks for watching. Bye.